Sebastian Stan and I play Chris. I was a huge fan of Karin Kusama's. I just liked that there was a dubious nature to almost every character. You know, there was there was sort of like an ambiguous kind of duality to to each of them in the sense that they were riding a very fine line um, between being relatable, likable, and then also ex extremely unlikable and and kind of. Um, uh, despicable as well and and the same went for the leads you know for for Nicole's character and so and I thought that was that would make for an interesting different film and um, maybe one that we hadn't seen before especially in the hands of Karin I thought that you know it'd be a great opportunity to be a part of something like that I think the the partnership of her and Nicole in this movie is probably uh, what stands out the most I think um, you know, you're getting her at probably operating at one of her best, you know, Karin, and then you're getting, and her doing that with, like, one of the most talented actresses that we've ever known, um, playing a role that she's never played before in, in a very different, unrecognizable way. And, and that marriage, I think, is what makes this movie, you know, special and unique. But with Karin, I think it was refreshing that, you know, um, it's nice to have a woman director, a woman DP, a woman AD, a woman editor, you know, I mean, just across the board, you know, women sort of led this whole thing. For Karin, like, I feel like she was um, one of my favorite directors ever, in a way, because she knew what she wanted from the get-go and then, um, but at the same time knew how to lead you kind of when you needed guidance and then also to leave you alone. Um, she was actually more confident and more firm uh, uh, in, in the way she communicated what she wanted than some, some of the male directors that I've worked with, you know. He's an undercover agent and um, you know, he, he's, it was interesting because there was not a lot of stuff on the page necessarily about his background. Um, and that's one of the things I really liked is, you know, in the scenes with Nicole, they are making up this backstory that they have together. And, and it was actually up to me and Karn and Phil, uh, one of the screenwriters, to um, decide which pieces were actually true for him and which were made up. It starts out as a job and then they're, they're put in this sort of um, interesting predicament and circumstance um, where they're having to pretend to be together and to sell that very well and um, you know I think as soon as they meet there's an instant sort of pull there and they probably both look at each other and realize oh this might not be that difficult. There are certain aspects that are, I think, are in their backgrounds that are very similar. That kind of, you know, may or may not have been, a, may or may not be a weak link. You know, ultimately, in the sense that they both really kind of discover something about themselves in the process. You know, um, escaping their regular life and then, in a way, that they never really planned or knew they were gonna end up that way, I guess. She's one of those people that just has a, a certain kind of an intensity. I, I, I mean, I find kind of that, that is, you know, just sort of seduces you, like you kind of get really wrapped up in it. I mean, it was, you know, my job in a sense was made easier that way of playing off of her because I, I knew that, you know, she was very present with me and and so I was, you know, it was very easy for me to react off of, you know, I didn't really have to think much about anything. And and that's a testament to her as well as, you know, a generosity that she brings. I saw her and I it was so it was strong. I mean, I was blown away, you know. I mean, he um just the ma the makeup people were uh, uh, unbelievable.
there's a feeling like, oh, like something very special is happening here. And, um, and a lot of that always starts at the top. You know, it always starts with the director and the AD, the producers. You know, I always feel like they kind of set the tone for the thing. And coming into this, you know, with Fred Berger there and Karin, um, it, it just, everything felt very um, sort of relaxed and confident in a way. One of the things about some of these undercover agents, you know, like some of the research I've done was that it's very difficult for them sometimes to kind of tap back into real life when they're going into these jobs and they have to go in and be so believable because it really is like having a gun to their head. I mean, like you can make one wrong move and you're dead, you know, and so to the extent that they go into these roles so much, um, sometimes in real life it just doesn't equate, you know, like there's, there's, a, there's a lot of that that's missing, you know, and, and so this character, you know, had to sort of have a lot missing kind of in order to want to go to this extra length, you know, in order to leave this life behind for this person. In these circumstances, you have to be willing to walk away from a lot.